Okay, so for this one, I want to do a couple concurrent motions. So I'm going to try to make it look like it's floating as it goes around. Um, so to do that, let's see, I'm going to use, um, I think I want to start with a wait. I'm going to have it wait two seconds because I want it to do this motion first. And then I'm going to have it kind of glide in a circle. So maybe it'll glide up to there. So let's go grab that one. And then maybe over here. So we'll grab that one. And then maybe back here. We'll grab that one. Let's test what those look like. Okay. And I'm going to put a repeat around those. It's just going to repeat those forever. Let's see what that looks like. That is excellent. So we're going to attach that to the wait for two seconds, and we're going to attach that to the one flag clicked block. And let's see if that works. So let's click our flag, and it comes into its place, and then it starts kind of floating around a little bit as it is talking. Now, for the octopus, I'm going to basically do the same thing, and then I am going to try something else on it. So give me a moment. Okay, so let's test that. It waits seven seconds so that it will do its coming onto the screen and talking first, and then it should kind of hover around there to look like it's floating. Now, the extra thing I want to do with the octopus is it actually has multiple costumes in here. So I'm going to go to the costumes and I'm going to add another octopus. I'm going to add this octopus B. And then in my coding, I want to try to go back and forth between those two. So I'm going to switch costume between Octopus A and Octopus B. Let's take a look at just this part and see what it looks like. All right, I like that. So now let's take a look at the whole thing. So the shark comes on, starts floating and talks. I am the scariest animal in the ocean. The octopus quickly comes on and says, boo, and the shark screams. Um, it's a little bit harder to read the words with the octopus moving because it makes the words jump a little, but I still think it's okay. If you didn't like that, then of course, don't change costumes. I think that will work for me though. All right, and I am going to end my project with them swimming off together. So we'll have the octopus end off the screen, and we will grab that glide. Um, so I will need a wait because the shark speaks for four seconds first. That's what I wanted to check. So we do need a wait for there. Okay, and then the shark is also going to glide off the screen. Okay, now we can grab that glide. Now, I can kind of see them a little bit, but there is a feature called hide that I'm going to use. It's in the looks, so I'm going to have it hide at the end, which means I will need to show at the beginning. And hide at the end, so I'll put the show at the beginning. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to fast forward my code to the end. So you can see that they kind of zoomed off really fast. Um, so I'm going to adjust my glide. Actually, maybe I'll just add a weight. And we'll see how that works. And then I'm going to rerun my code. And again, I'll fast forward to the end so you don't have to watch through the whole thing. Okay, obviously that didn't work. 
because of the timing here brings it right back. So I think what I'm going to need to do is play it again, count how many times it does this, and change my forever until uh, to a repeat number um, so that it'll exit. So I'm going to play it again for myself and count, and then I will be right back. Okay, I counted it and it made it through nine and a half times. So what I'm actually going to do is just put a repeat nine on there. And put those inside. And I'm going to adjust my octopus now for its repeat. I think the octopus only did it eight times. So I'm going to put a repeat eight on there. And we're going to test it out again to see if it works. Again, I'll fast forward to the end of the code for you. Okay, so it looks like I don't need that wait after all, now that the code works with the repeats. Here's the end of my code again. And that works. I hope this inspires you to try some of these codes yourself.